Let's solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 5x equals 24. We're going to do this by factoring. Now to factor it, we have to set the right-hand side equal to 0, which means we're going to put this thing in standard form. So subtract 24 from both sides, and we get x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals 0. Um, if I check the quick, the, the quick factoring techniques, right, because this is a trinomial, we can't do a difference of squares. It's not a perfect square trinomial. 24 is not a perfect square. And there's also no common divisors I can see amongst the three terms. So we're now going to result to using this reverse FOIL method we learned before. So we're going to take the first coefficient, which is really just a 1, and times it by negative 24. You're going to see that itself is just negative 24. And you want to find factors of negative 24 that add up to be 5. Um, 24 has a couple of factorizations like 1 and 24, 2 and 12, uh, 4 and 6, 8 and 3. Because it's a negative 24, one of the factors will have to be negative. The other one has to be positive. And after you search around for a while, you can see that 8 and negative 3 is our magic pair. Because 8 times negative 3 is equal to negative 24. And then 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. So we're going to break up our magic pair. That is, we're going to break up 5 into the magic pair, 8 and negative 3. We get egg x squared plus 8x, and then we're going to get, for the next group, a negative 3x minus 24. Factor out GCDs in the first group. The only thing we can take out is an x, so that leaves behind x plus 8. And then in the second group, if the first coefficient is negative, always take out a negative there, and you're going to get, take out a negative 3. That leaves behind x plus 8. You're going to see that the x plus 8s match up because we do, in fact, have a magic pair. Factoring out the x plus 8s, we're going to get x plus 8, and we're going to get x minus 3, which is equal to 0. Setting each of these, two, we're going to set each factor equal to 0, you know, in accordance with the zero product property, zip zappity up, and therefore we see that x would equal negative 8 and 3 as the solutions here. You know, when you look at that number, it's like, hmm, negative 8 and 3. I feel like I've seen those numbers somewhere before. Well, that almost was our magic pair, just the negatives were in the wrong spot. But actually, when you look at here, x plus 8 and x minus 3, the magic pair is the factorization if you just put an x in front of it, right? You got x plus 8 and x minus 3. And then when you set x plus 8 equal to 0, you'll switch the signs when you move the 8 to the other side. Same thing with the negative 3. And so what happened here, like this, the, the magic pair essentially gave you the answers, except that you have to switch the signs. We had a negative 8 and a 3. What happened here? Well, it turns out that this example is a very special type of quadratic equation. It's what we call a monic uh, quadratic, where the leading coefficient here is a 1. If the co coefficient of x squared is a 1, it turns out this factoring technique is dramatically simplified. Once you find the magic pair, you can immediately jump to this factorization, x plus the first member times x plus the second member of the magic pair. That is, once you have the magic pair, you essentially have the factorization. We can skip over the factoring by group process because we can predict what's going to happen uh, when we have this monic polynomial. Let's look at another example. If we take x squared plus 7x plus 10, uh, notice how the leading coefficient here is 1. So I claim if we can find factors of 10 that add to be 7, then we have the factorization. And we can do 5 and 2. Notice if you take x plus 5 and x plus 2, that will be a factorization here. x times x is x squared. 5 times 2 is 10. You're going, to get five, you're going to get a 2x and a 5x, which adds together to give a 7x. That's the correct factorization. Um, and then by the zero product property, the, the solutions would be negative 5 and negative 2. If your leading coefficient is 1, that's all there is to factoring. It's really, really, really nice. Um, how about this next one right here? x squared plus x minus 6 right here. So we need factors of negative 6 that add up to be... Uh, factors of negative 6 that add up to be 1. Well, 6 factors as 2 and 3, right? So those are a difference of 1. So make sure you get the sign in the right spot. We're going to take a plus 3 and a minus 2. And double check that. 3x minus 2x is an x. So this is our factorization. And therefore, the solutions, when you switch the signs, will be x is negative 3 and 2. So when you have a monic quadratic equation, the lead coefficient is 1, we can factor these things super, super, super quickly and get the answers there very quickly. But this only works when the leading coefficient is 1. 
if the leading coefficient is not one, we do need to go through the full-blown factoring by group techniques. We'd still have to find a magic pair, which is a little bit more time-consuming. But this is a very nice shortcut um, when it is applicable.